Hi everyone, this is Francis Heil de Leon and I am to show you how to get the 6 trigonometric functions of any angle. But first, as a review, I'm gonna give you the 6 functions formula. For a sine function, y over r. For the cosine function, x over r. For the tangent function, y over x. For the cosecant function, r over y. For the secant function, r over x. And for the cotangent function, x over y. Before starting the main tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to rationalize fractions with radical denominator. This is a step which is very important, especially in finding the values of the functions. It is just easy. For example, 1 over the square root of 3 will be multiplied by square root of 3 to both the numerator and the denominator which will give us the answer square root of 3 over 3 and why 3 because when you multiply two radical functions of the same number it will just eliminate the radical sign so let's start this tutorial by first knowing the positive areas in quadrant 1 all functions are positive in quadrant 2, only sine and cosecant functions are positive. In quadrant 3, only tangent and cotangent functions are positive. And last, in, co in quadrant 4, only cosine and secant functions are positive. The location of the angle varies depending on the signs of the values of x and y. For example, in quadrant 1, both x and y are positive. In quadrant 2, we will be having a negative x value and a positive y value. In the quadrant 3, both x and y are negative. And last, in quadrant 4, x is positive and y is negative. Next up is finding the length of the hypotenuse or r. We all know that there is no given r when coordinates are given. It only gives x and y. So to find r, we must use the formula x squared plus y squared equals to r squared. For example, when x is equals to 4 and y is equals to 3, then r squared is equals to the square of 4 which is 16 plus the square of 3 which is 9 that will give us the answer 25 but in r squared so we must find the root of 25 which is 5 so our r is equal to 5 okay. it's time for an example first find the six functions with the coordinate given is 5 and negative 4. The location of the angle is located in the quadrant 4 because the x value which is 5 is positive and the y value which is negative 4 is negative. We all know that when it is positive x and negative y, the location of the angle is in quadrant 4. Okay, then x is equals to 5, y is equals to negative 4, then r r is equals to square root of 41. Sine theta is equals to negative 4 square root of 41 over 41. Why negative? According to our first lesson, in the quadrant 4, only cosine and secant have the positive sign. Okay, next, cosine theta is equal to 3 square root of 41 over 41. Tangent theta is equal to negative 4 over 5. Cosecant theta is equal to negative square root of 41 over 4. Secant theta is equal to square root of 41 over 5. And last, cotangent theta is equal to negative 5 over 4. It's time for a challenge. So find the six functions in negative.
negative 3 and negative 2. So, x is equals to negative 3. And y is equals to negative 2. Then, r is equals to the square root of 13. So, according to the rule, when both x and y are negative, it is located in the, in the quadrant 3. And also, for this example, tangent and cotangent functions are positive. So, sine theta is equals to negative 2 square root of 13 over 13. Cosine theta is equals to negative 3 square root of 13 over 13. And tangent theta is equals to 2 over 3 in positive sign. Next, cosecant theta is equals to negative square root of 13 over 2. Secant theta is equals to negative square root of 13 over 3. And last, cotangent theta is equals to 3 over 2. Again, this is Francis Sile de Leon and I hope you learned from this tutorial. Thanks for watching.